here with Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV, and I am with Chris from Fiori UK. Hello. You all right? All good. So uh, we're in Nottingham tonight. Where have you been so far? Um, all over, really. Yeah. Um, we reached many places um, on the past couple of tours. We were at Leicester last night, um, and then we were in Belgium and France before then, um, and lots of other places around the UK. We're Saxon, so Great. been reaching lots of places. And I know you've been with, sort of touring with, like you say, with big big bands, Saxon, MSG. I think it was last year or the year before. Um, who was your favourite one you've been touring with? Uh, well, the one with Saxon just gone. That was really that was really cool. That was uh, a good operation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the crowds really um, took to us. You know, I thought it was in terms of style, it it was a it was a good gig for us. Uh, y and T, the Y and T tour was really cool. Uh, MSG was really special for me because he's one of my heroes. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely lifted up from uh, what we've done before for this tour with with Saxon. It was it was a really cool one. Is it always a bit, ampre- a bit apprehensive when it's your own headlining tour though? You know, because it's it's sort of think right, I'm, we're going alone now. We're not got anybody to sort of bring in the crook punters. There, you're sort of nervous if people turn up and things like that. Um, sort of. I mean. You you do you know do you do what you can to get people there all the time and we're, we're constantly growing uh, with fan base and it's 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 just getting better you know after the support tours we've been getting um, and to be honest we, we don't really think a bit about it too much you know because um, with our own gigs we get chance to you know open up a bit more do a longer set so you know the adrenaline's running for longer mm. um, we can you know express ourselves with a lot. Of different material that you know, because everything's got to be in a tight 30-minute slot on the support slots. Where if you know headline shows like an hour plus, um, you know, and you know we can do a lot more material and just uh, chill out with it, but take it in different, you know, different uh, different directions with the crowd. So it's like, oh, there's more to this band than just meets the eye in 30 minutes of pure adrenaline. Yeah. And uh, what can people buy at the moment? Are you sort of promoting uh, your latest album? Yeah, it's the A Way of Life album, um, which we're still touring. Um, we can get that to, through the website. Um, all, the, all the information where to get it is on the website, furyuk.com, so amazonplay.com, in the HMV stores. You can order it through there. Um, I think the best place at the moment is play.com. I think they're, I think they're pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> and have you, have you always... Has your name always been Fury UK? Because there's quite a lot of bands with sort of just Fury on and Fury. Just, I think there's quite a few with Fury prefixes. Has yours mm. always been the Fury UK? For quite a long time now, yeah. I mean, I, I started the band when I was in my early teens, so, you know, going back nearly 10 years ago now. Um, and that's when we were first as Fury. Um, and it was only a couple of years after that we decided to change the name to Fury UK because somebody came up with the ingenious Fury UK logo, yeah, which we quite liked. Um, and the website was Fury UK, the MySpace was Fury UK at the time, and uh, we're very patriotic and we just thought, yeah, why not? It's uh, it's a good sort of thing to have. Um, and then, yeah, it's it's just stuck and we like it. I like the logo. It's sort of, you have to do a double take. You think, what's that say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let me think about this. <laughs> and uh, have you got any? I mean, I, I, my beard sponsored. You know, with the hair dye company and everything. Have you got any unusual sponsorship deals? Uh, well, we've got like the the normal sort of stuff. You know, strings, amps, guitars, and whatever. But uh, we're just uh, taking on with these boys, Spiral Direct, that sponsor us for our gig shirts. Um, so. Flying the flag for them, they're, they're always good to us. Uh, and Luke's got something with um, his chains that he wears around oh, his right. neck. Um, I think he picked that up um, through a festival or something. Um, so yeah, shirts and and chains. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Um, is, if there's anything about your appearance you'd like, you would change if you had if you had no money and you know money's no object. Appearance. Um, not really, no. No, no I'm quite, quite happy being me. Yeah. <laughs> no little blemish you think, oh, I'll get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you sort of think about it, you think, oh, I've got to do my beard a bit, I've got to shave, I've got to make sure that looks all right, or, you know, uh, polish my boots maybe, but no, I'm quite happy, you know. It's the, God's put you on this earth the way you are, and you should be happy with it and roll with it, I think. 
great stuff. And is there a, a country you visited that you've sort of loved to go back touring? Um, quite quite a few actually. I mean, Switzerland we really we really liked um, the tour that we did. I think it was two years ago with Blaze uh, in Greece. That was really cool. They were absolutely mad over there. <laughs> Um, Belgium's always cool, we keep going back to Belgium. Um, we really want to go to Germany though, we've not been to Germany yet, so that's definitely on the cards for hopefully a European tour later on this year. Um, we really want to you know, get to a lot of countries that we haven't been to yet, um, and it's always been in my sights to go to Germany, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. Um, but anywhere really, I mean anyone that likes the music, you know, that's the main thing isn't it so yeah yeah it's just it's sort of people always have it in the mind what the dream gig might be i mean is, is there any sort of festival or venue you'd love to play that you've not played yet well i think manchester apollo um it has always held quite a few memories for me because that is where i went to my first gig in manchester um and a few of me you know favorite gigs and favorite bands have played there and uh, it's just got it's just got an awesome vibe as soon as you walk in. It's like, oh, it's the Apollo. And even though there's bigger places in Manchester, like the Manchester Evening News Arena, even though it's bigger, it's not really got the vibe to it that, um, and the history. So, yeah, Manchester Apollo. Uh, festivals, there's, there's loads, really. Uh, uh, Bloodstock main stage would be quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah there's, the list is probably endless. <laughs> And who was that the first gig you went to then at Manchester Apollo? Uh, believe it or not, it was Thunder. All oh, right. Thunder. Um, it was my first gig, and I went to quite a few in quite a close proximity. There was Thunder, status quo, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and but one of my favourite ones at the Apollo was went to see Steve Vai, and it was like my first time discovering Steve Vai. I'd never actually heard of him before and there's just a load of my friends and said you need to go check this guy out he can really play and so my first experience was Steve Vai in the Apollo and I'm just blown away for the first time so that was that was really special and is he sort of like one of the, the guitarists you really admire or is, it, is there one that's sort of the you know the, the one that you admire more than one that, than Steve Vai basically um, yeah, there's, I take influences from loads of different guitarists. I mean, uh, the guy that really got me started really was like Tony Iommi and, uh, and Angus Young, uh, those, those guys from the early eras. Um, Michael Schenker's, you know, one of my favourites. And then I discovered the whole shredding sort of thing with Steve Vai, Satriani and, you know, Ingrid Malmsteen. So I just try and mix the old school with the, you know, with the modern sort of shredders and just try and find that fine line between technique and feel, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes it gets a bit boring if you just go blah, 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 all the way through. And, you know, I like the feel and the old school sort of yeah. feel to it, uh, if that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of the sort of younger bands that are still doing old school metal and, um, and do, I don't know why. I mean, the, the new stuff's coming out, all this screamo emo, but the, the the true fans seem to go back to the traditional style metal. Mm. Well, it's it's the best. I mean, I, I mean, and, and especially now because you know they're all getting older, and you know they're not going to last forever. At, at the end of the day, which is you know a really sad thought, but um, that's one of the reasons why I, I started playing in the first place. It's just like I love the music and I love this style. Um, and I want to carry it on, basically. You know, I don't want it to disappear. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's it is the the best music, and it always keeps coming back. It'll never go away. <laughs> There's nothing stopping it. <laughs> and is there anything you can tell us about Fury UK that you've not told anybody else in any other interview? Oh, there's there's lots to tell. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots to tell. Um, we're, we're, we're quite quite insane to be honest we've got quite a strange humor and it's probably humor that not many people understand <laughs> if you're locked in a travel lodge room for an hour <laughs> with yeah. the three of us it'd be like what the hell's going on here <laughs> um i don't know we we all, we all enjoy different things you know when when we're away from the band um we all like to do different things and uh, uh but i mean for me personally i i just sort of go go into a similar sort of 
cloud um, as I do when I'm in the band. It's sort of like if I'm not playing, I'm going out to watch a band. Yeah. You know, that's sort of my weekend. <laughs> if, I, if I've got a night off, I'd rather be, you know, watching a band than, you know, just sat at home having a takeaway. And is, what's the thing that you miss most like, when you're away from home or, or on tour? I mean, for me, if I go to a festival, first thing I do is I'm, I'm sort of stumbling around looking for somebody who's selling a cup of tea or something. I, you know, I've got can't start the day without a cup of tea. Is there anything that you'd miss more more than anything while you're out on tour? Um, I don't know really because I feel very comfortable on tour. You know, and same with being on stage. It's the only sort of place where I feel really relaxed and comfortable uh, as myself. Um, but I mean, there's, there's things that you miss. I mean, sometimes you know people say, oh, there's, you know, there's family birthdays or something like that that you, you're missing, and you're on the other side of the world. But then you put it in perspective. It's like, well, all right, we'll we'll make the next one. <laughs> you know, um, uh, the Michael Schenker tour. I mean, that was pretty close to Christmas. I think the last date we did there was the night before Christmas Eve. So. All that build up to Christmas time, we totally missed. Got home Christmas Eve morning, and then it was like, you know, this is your Christmas. And then we started gigging on Boxing Day again. Um, but it just goes with the territory. It's what we love to do, and we want to carry on doing it. And it's sort of the dedication that we've all put in. So, in perspective, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, finally, have you got anything that you'd like to say to the fans who are watching this out there? We love you. We absolutely love you all. <laughs> Keep coming to see us because we love you. We love seeing you guys. Hopefully, as much as you like to see us. So that's cool. And buy all, buy all the albums and uh, stay true. Nice one.